Greetings, friends. Welcome to GCK Daily. We're grateful that you are able to tune in with us today. We trust that God will come through for you once again. You know, there's so many things that contend for our attention. Some are obvious, like our daily provisions, safety needs, and then there are the not so obvious things, like love, a sense of belonging, the need to be great and to have the wonderful things in life. So like the gold, silver, brass, iron, and clay statue in Daniel, this need can become pseudo kingdoms that challenge the sovereignty of God in our lives. They are points through which the devil can, can establish his kingdom in our lives. Today on GCK Daily, Pastor Kumi teaches us on the sovereignty of Christ and the superiority of salvation in the face of these false kingdoms. Here's Pastor Kumi. Look at Daniel chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 34. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break them in pieces verse 35 it says then well, the iron and the clay and the brass and the silver and the gold broke in to pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors and the wind carried them away all those works of the devil in your life the wind will carry everything away. Tonight, I say tonight, I say tonight, all those things are smashed away out of your life in Jesus' name that no place was found for them, no place in your head for the devil. No place in your body for disease. No place in your mind for demons. No place in your house for a premature death in Jesus' name. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Christ will fill your whole life. He'll be with you at home, on the road, in the office, in the farm, at the fishing point, anywhere, everywhere you go, Christ in all his power will now fill your life. It tells us in verse 44, in verse 44, it tells us, it says, and in the days of these kings, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. The salvation you have from Christ tonight shall never be destroyed. The healing you have from Christ tonight shall never be destroyed. The deliverance dominion you have from the Lord tonight will never be destroyed. And the king shall not be led to other people and it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms of darkness of disease of demons of death shall consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever look at verse 45 for as much as thou sawest the stone that was cut out of the mountain without hands and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold, the great God has made known unto the king what shall come to pass hereafter. The dream is certain, the interpretation thereof sure. What we have said tonight is certainly to be fulfilled in your life sure to be fulfilled in your life in Jesus name Matthew chapter 28 reading from verse 18 Matthew chapter 28 verse 18 and Jesus came 
and speak unto them, saying, All power, all power, there's no other power. The power of that image of gold, silver, brass, iron, iron and clay, all power, all other powers, everything now crushed, crumbled, shattered, and the wind has carried them away. Evil power will not operate your life again. As you connect with Christ, as you make him your Lord and Savior, as you receive him today as your Lord and your Savior, his is the power, his is the dominion, his is the authority, and tonight you are totally free. I rejoice with you because now the Christ of all power, he has power to save, he has power to heal, he has power to destroy all the works of the devil. He has power to set you free. He has power to recreate a new life in your life. That Christ is coming to you, connected to you right now in Jesus' name. So as we reflect on today, here are a couple of things for us to take home with us. When we look to chasing after our needs, just like the statue, they have different levels of importance, these can become idols in our lives. Secondly, we are generally governed by either the flesh or by the Spirit of God. And whatever we're governed by, we subtly offer our worship to. To be governed by our needs is to be flesh-driven. Thirdly, when we choose to live by the Spirit, we put ourselves under the influence of God's kingdom, and we can enjoy the beauties of that kingdom. Are there still portions of your life that you haven't brought under the governance of God? I'm asking you to bring it to His feet today. Everywhere you go, you meet people overwhelmed by life's struggle. Yes, the hardship, the sickness, the pain. Look to your left and right, and you can feel the heart's longing for an escape, searching for answers. Hello, Ghana. The GCK flight comes to the coastal capital city of Accra in Ghana. The land of freedom and rich diversity is set to experience God's freedom and diverse miracles. From around the world, we connect with international gospel evangelist, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumyi at the April edition of the Global Crusade, themed Glorious Visitation from Christ. Get set to encounter the wonder-working power of Jesus Christ as he visits us from April 20th through April 25th, 2023 at 1600 hours GMT daily and global worship service at 0700 hours GMT on Sunday. An exclusive conference for Christian ministers, church workers, and corporate professionals will be held on April 21st, 22nd, 24th, and 25th, where Jesus Christ anoints them with enabling grace and power for end time harvest. The young eagles are not left behind too, at the Impact Academy for teenagers, campus students, and young adults on April 22nd, the GCK convener will propel them to the sky and fly upward to higher heights. Out of Independent Square, Accra, Ghana, the word of power would be broadcast worldwide through satellite, radio, TV, and the GCK social media platforms. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world an engaging worship led by Jared Anderson. This is our final battles. This is our final battles. This is our final battles. This is our... It is your time for a life-changing experience. Hello, friends. This is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi. Keep on standing as I pray with you. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because of the call. 
because of the connection and because of the conversion that we have now Lord I pray forgive everyone responding now forgive them their sins in Jesus name take the punishment of sin away from them. Take the pollution of sin away from them. Break the power of sin out of their lives in Jesus' name. Grant them your salvation, your forgiveness, your freedom, your redemption right now. I pray, Lord, you take their portion, take their name out of the kingdom of darkness, defilement, and bring them into the kingdom of your dear son. Let the joy of salvation come up in every heart standing right now. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you for the revelation that had been lost, but now you have recovered, you have revealed your secret unto us. You have revealed the secret that sickness canceled, disease canceled, demonic power canceled, premature death canceled, and you have brought us up from the dungeon and prison of captivity and you have raised us up to sit in heavenly places with Christ the Christ of all power I pray the power of Christ will manifest in every life right now in Jesus name all the power of demons evil spirits broken away from your life now disease cancel right now in Jesus name healing for everyone deliverance for everyone dominion for everyone Lord I pray any sickness from the top of the head to the tip of the toe take everything out right now in Jesus name you are healed. You are delivered. Manifestation in your life right now. Performance in your life right now. Demonstration of divine power in your life now. In Jesus' name. It is done. It is confirmed. You are healed. You are delivered. Thank you, Lord, for the confirmation. In Jesus' name, I pray. It is done. I said it is done. Check up yourself now. You'll see that miracle, that healing signs and wonders already there. So we'll sing this prayer, the prayer of David. One thing we ask of you, one thing that we desire that as we worship you Lord come and change our lives arise 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 take your place be Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, the Global Crusade with Kumi. We believe that this episode has drawn you into a closer relationship with Jesus Christ, who loves you so much and gave his life.
that you might live. As we conclude today, we would love to get to know you personally. Please visit us at gckhq.org slash cwc to connect with us and enable us to share our helpful resources with you. Also, the greatest thing you can do is share today's message with a friend. They can be blessed. We are grateful for the time you have given today, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow on GCK Daily. We also invite you to join us at our next Global Crusade. Times and dates are listed on your specific geographical time. Thank, Thank you. you.